So we are going to look at classifications of costs or costs classifications. We are still continuing with topic one, cost and management accounting, which is introduction to cost and management accounting. So there are very many classifications of costs, but we are going to start with one. And this one is called classification according to the cost objective or purpose. So we have three cost objectives and that is stock valuation, decision making or profit measurement and then cost control. So that is the first classification of costs according to the cost objective or purpose. So they are only three stock valuation, decision making or profit measurement then cost control and where there is cost control we have the controllable and uncontrollable costs then when it comes to decision making we have the relevant and irrelevant costs we have those costs that can be avoided and those that cannot be avoided we have the sunk costs and opportunity costs then marginal and incremental costs then when it comes to stock valuation when you are valuing stock, we have the period costs and then the product costs. We have the expired costs and then the unexpired costs. We also have the direct and indirect costs. So those are the classifications of according to objective or purpose, the three. You just consider the objectives of costing, which is stock valuation, decision making or profit measurement, then cost control. Another classification of costs we have is classification by nature and under this we have the first one is material costs. So materials are those substances that go into the production process and then they are transformed into finished goods. And materials are classified into two. We have the direct materials and then the indirect materials. So under classification by nature, we have the material costs or the costs that are incurred in acquiring those materials. Another cost under classification by nature is labor costs. Labor refers to the human effort to produce goods and services. Labor is a factor of production. And it includes things like uh, talent, training, and the skills of people which contribute to the production of goods and services, like acquiring those workers, training them, paying them salary, all those are labor costs. So labor involves the physical and mental effort. It can further be classified into direct and then indirect labor. Another cost we have under classification by nature is overhead costs. So overhead costs consist of those expenditures that do not become an integral part of the finished product or service. Like they are not part of the product or service that is provided, but they must be there in order for an activity to take place. And those are things like rent, heat, light supplies because when you go to a restaurant to buy food they will not put the rent that they pay on the menu too so it doesn't form part of the product but it's there so in short overhead costs are indirect costs it involves indirect materials indirect labor and other indirect expenses so overhead costs can be classified into factory overheads, office and administration overheads, and then and selling and distribution overheads. So those are the costs under classification by nature. We have the labor costs, material costs, and then overhead costs. Under classification by objective or purpose, we had stock valuation, decision making, and then cost control. Thanks for watching.